All right, so we got three done now. See them over there? Uh, what that is, I got hot, hot water. The sink is kind of plugged with a lid. It's warming those up so that when I cap them, you know, they're ready to go. I got the lids over there in the dishwashing rack and the other stack of lids is right over here. It's the seals or whatever they're called. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna have Blake film me do one jar from start to finish so you can see how it's done. Blake's been over here friggin' uh, I cut the ends off the garlic and he's actually husking them for me so that we got nice garlic cloves to put in. All right, let's take it away, Blake. Turn this water off. All right, so we're gonna start with a, essentially an empty jar. I don't know, there's a little bit of freaking dill in there. That's fine, whatever. Okay, so I did the math. I was gonna do one bu one bushel of, uh, of, of asparagus each jar, but I have a little bit of extra, so I'm doing essentially one and a half bushels per jar. So I'm gonna grab about a half off of this one too and put it on here with this and then I'll take that half and mix it with the next one. So, um, no real science to this. I'm just cutting them off to where, you know, it's about, about there, you know, that might be a little short, might be a little long. These are going in the, the bag here to be composted later, whatnot. Um, so it's kind of a rough fit. That was actually a small bushel. So that is actually just barely fitting in there I mean like a glove some of the bigger ones I had to really work them in there to get one and a half in but you see we got nice green tender asparagus tops just barely fit in the jar boom okay so now we're going to take some of this fine garlic here that Blake so kindly helped us out with I don't know I'll just grab a few that's six whatever six uh looks like eight cloves so eight cloves in there boom right oh yeah Thank you, Blake. We won't forget about this. So I had four large bushels of, of, uh, of this, the dill from the, um, the local farm store thing, you know, leave cash in the little farm box by the, by the farm. Farm market. Yeah. Farm market thing by up the road here. And so, um, I got four rows of six. So I just divided each bush, each bundle, each bundle, uh, into six individual things. And that's how, that's how I measured out the dill. So Again, it's a pretty decent amount. It's actually probably whatever. So, spices. Uh, they got all sorts of different crap you can use. This is what I use because it's basically, uh, yeah. So, citric acid. We got a heaping, heaping spoon to citric acid. Boom. I got, this is pure sea salt. Uh, you can use any kind of salt. You can use no salt. I use sea salt. And I use a level spoon. Boom. Okay. They got this 21 blend organic no salt seasoning. So this is 21 organic seasonings all ground up and dried. Boom. Again, heaping, heaping spoon. And ground, coarse ground black pepper. That one I'm going to use the uh, uh, level spoon. So salt and pepper, level spoon, pure sea salt, coarse ground black pepper. And then uh, for the citric acid and the 21 blend uh, organic seasoning mix, uh, a heaping spoon. Okay, boom, get rid of those. All right, now I'm gonna take the, uh, I'm gonna take this dill here. And what I like to do is I'm gonna chop up the, the large end, so the stem part, I'm gonna chop up into little tiny, I don't know, I'd say those are about a centimeter long or so pieces. And until I get up to just the sprigs, and I dump that in there like that, and then I'm going to take the sprigs and maybe rip it in half, and boom, throw that in there. It's quite a bit of dill, but that's okay. That's good. And then I got a quarter onion, uh, which I'm just going to cut the ends off of real quick, like this. I'm going to peel the peel off, boom. And then I'm just going to take these chunks of onion and throw them in here right on top because those are great to chomp on right before you open this up and get your asparagus sprigs out. You got some nice pickled onion on top and if you're the kind of person that doesn't like onion which i don't understand but that's okay it happens you can get rid of them easily and uh, still enjoy your pickled asparagus so that said and done all that stuff's in there then we're going to top this bad boy off with uh i'm using distilled white vinegar uh, i suppose you could use any kind of vinegar or this is what i'm doing you can do it however you'd like uh and then I'm going to take this over here in the sink, set it in the warm water, and let it warm up. And then again, 
once it uh, gets, you know, to be a good temperature, like once I get maybe the first nine done, I'll probably get them warm a couple, two times, cap them, and then move on to the next nine. So, enjoy. Thank you, Blake.